claimed the life of rescue pilot Peter Button, along with photographer Ronald Wolf and property developer Dion Savage. Tonight, the damage caused to electricity supplies is still causing disruption to rail services. A railway spokesman says trains may not be back to normal tomorrow morning. I think Peter Button was a man in a million. And, you know, I, I just honestly don't know how we will ever replace him. Peter Button had been flying for more than 35 years. In Wellington, he was a legend. Last July, when the police launched The Lady Liz Went Down, it was Peter Button and his son who came to the rescue. That day, in atrocious conditions, they saved the lives of two policemen caught in the water. They were heroes and received awards. Only this week, they were in the news getting Queen's gallantry medals. 59-year-old Peter Button and his two passengers died today while working for the police. They'd been diverted to track an escaped prisoner who thought their helicopter hit power cables. The crash cut power to much of the capital, plunging shops and spirits into darkness. And there will be such a groundswell of public grief uh, in the Wellington area in particular that it's likely that there will be some uh, form of um, recognition in an enduring way given to the life of an outstanding New Zealander, an outstanding man in civil aviation in this country. West Auckland police are still... He and two passengers died when his helicopter crashed last week. About 2,000 people packed into the capital's old town hall for a special service of tribute, while thousands more lined central city streets for Mr. Button's funeral procession. His friend said Peter Button wouldn't have wanted frills or a fuss. It was the way he lived. But today the people of Wellington turned out in force. By the time his family arrived, the town hall was full. They'd come to hear his friends describe the man and his deeds. He rang me one night and diffidently asked me if I could find out how his baby daughter was as she was sick in Ward 19 Wellington Hospital with meningitis. While his daughter was critically ill, he was flying Cook Strait in the dark and atrocious weather conditions to give aid to a passenger who had suffered head injuries on the ferry. Those who spoke talked of the financial troubles that had dogged the pilot and his rescue service and the wear and tear on his family. Outside, a police guard turned out to honour Peter Button, but those on show, four had been rescued by the pilot. More than a dozen helicopters flew overhead, pilots from around the country honouring one of their own. Then as every vantage point was taken and work stopped in the city, the procession began. Tragically, Peter Button's crash has left his business more vulnerable than ever. Capital Helicopter's second chopper is grounded for repair work. And a further blow is news that his hangar at Wellington Airport was broken into the day after his death. But even that seemed unimportant today as Wellington paid its last respects. Peter Button, jet ranger, flying cap and all, will be remembered. His body was cremated in a private ceremony this afternoon. And as a mark of respect for both his personal qualities and his ability as a pilot, helicopters from around the country made a mass fly past around Wellington City and the harbour. Chris Ryan has that story. Thirteen choppers from as far away as Auckland gathered just outside Capital Helicopters offices before flying around Wellington Harbour. At the same time as the funeral of the man who first bought a rescue helicopter service to Wellington was being held, pilots were briefed on the flight. The biggest group of helicopters to fly in formation over the city would take in both Wellington and Hutt hospitals, remembering the many cases ferried to hospital by Peter Button. For many of the pilots, Peter Button was more than a flyer. He was just a man that just loved to do things for people. I think the fact that uh, so many people have come, and some of them have come a long way with uh, machines and men, at a time when the industry is facing reasonably hard times is a tribute. We left Auckland at first light this morning and come down here this is a personal tribute to Peter Button. We're operating the same sort of service in Auckland and uh, it was just dev we were devastated up here to hear this, what had happened. The flight took less than an hour, and while the expensive tribute was taking place, preparations for a funeral wake were finalised in the hangar where Wellington's remaining rescue helicopter is undergoing repairs. Then pilots, family and friends gathered together to talk about their friend, flying and old times. 
Peter Button and two passengers. Button's helicopter hit power lines during a police search for an escaped prisoner last year. An accident report released today says he didn't have written permission to fly that low, and it calls for a review of the requirements for low-level flying.